Avoid all or nothing thinking. Get that out of your mind. So many of us have all or nothing thinking. It's either black or white. And this is me. It's either this way or that way. There's nothing in between. Well, you know what? There's so much in between. There's so many shades in between. There's 50 shades of grey in between. Maybe even more. How exciting is that? Hey everyone, Arthur Babbles here again, and I'm coming to you. This is January 4th. This is my day two. As I said yesterday, I came here on Facebook Live with my 2022 New Year's message. And my commitment to you was to show up here on Facebook and share with you, share a little bit about myself, what it is that we do, and share with you specifically what we want to do over the next 30 days. We're going to share with you 33, 33 tips, 33 ways that you can crush the things that are keeping you from experiencing happiness and keeping you from experiencing the success that you deserve. And so that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you over the next 30 days. I'm gonna be coming to you. As I said, I'm here in my studio, I'm in Cronulla, and I'm coming to you a little bit earlier tonight because I wanted to show you what it's like on the other side, on the other side of the cameras over here. Just wanna make sure that we're going live here. Yes, we are on the other side of the cameras over here. So let me show you the camera. Here's where we are. This is me in Cronulla. So this is live. This is over my veranda. And this is where I do my recording. This is where I actually, uh, I serve uh, my students, my clients with my coaching, with the training that we do. And we're doing that for the last 25 years, 25 years in the field of complementary medicine, personal growth, human performance, and helping people level up their life, level up, um, their experience of their spirit here on this planet. And so I'm excited to be coming to you today. Hey, Mr. V, Mike Brana is in the house, mate. Great to see you. He's in Florida and he's having an awesome time, mate. I want to say thank you so much to you. Uh, you're a big part of my life. I appreciate you as a friend. And um, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm chuffed, mate. I'm glad that you're here tonight. So, the, so as I said, here I'm in Cronulla. It's a glorious day outside. And my commitment to you guys is to share things that I've learned over the last... 25, 30 years in this field, as I said. And, and you know, things that work for me, and they work for me because I've put them in practice. Now, let me profess from the beginning, I'm not, to say, I'm not saying here that I'm an expert, that I know how to do life, I'm living life like everyone else. I'm here experiencing this journey, I'm a spirit on this journey, on this planet, a spiritual being having this physical experience as we, we know we've all decided to do that, and we're learning as we go. And it's many times, Maybe days, weeks, years later, after the experience, we look back and we get the lesson. And it's only when we get the lesson of that experience and we appreciate the, 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 the energetic dynamic that took place in order for you to have that experience with that person or persons uh, in that environment, in order for you to become the person that you are today. So I'm sharing with you the things that I've gone through and the things I've seen that work for my students, for my clients, that when they put them in play, they get results. Here's what I do know. When you look at the most successful and the most happiest people all over the world, they know one thing. And the thing that they know is that that happiness comes from the inside, not from the outside. If you're waiting for something outside to happen for you in order for you to feel good on the inside, if you're here because you want to accumulate the likes or you want to accumulate the, the, accumulate the cars, you accumulate the wealth, accumulate all the stuff on the outside for you to feel good on the inside, then there's something missing. It's a gaping hole on the inside. So I'm here to say that your business, your life, your relationships, Whatever you experience here in this planet will never, ever, 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 ever grow beyond who you are as a person. I want you to think about that. Because your business, your health, your life, your relationships is a direct reflection of the level of your consciousness, you as a person, where you are right now. So if you want your business to be better, then you must grow. If you want your life to be better, then you need to be better. And if you want to elevate the experience that you have in your relationships, Mr. B over there, Mr. Brown, I know he's doing that. If you want to elevate that experience, then you need to evolve as a person. So what are some of the things that stop us from that evolution? What are some of the things that stop us from moving down this path and becoming a better version 
of who we are. Now I'm coming to you, as I said, every night over the next month, 30 nights or so, there are 33 tips, 33 things that you can think about that when you focus on and eliminate them, that, you know, they, they, that you will help crush the reasons why you're not experiencing happiness and success. We want you to focus on things to bring in what it is that you want more of. I, I, I asked you last night to think about what is it that you let go of? Or what have you lost? What feeling have you felt that you've lost over the last 6, 12, 18 months, 24 months that you'd like to have more of in the next 6, 12, 18, 24 months? We need to be purposeful and start thinking about what we want to bring into our life. You know, success and achievement in life that you want to experience and achieve is really simple. We don't really want to talk about formulas, but they're steps, right? And you've got to be very clear with what it is that you want. And we talked about last night, not so much about goals, because people say, oh, I don't want to set those goals. I just want to be in the now. Okay, well, if you just want to be in the now and experience flow, that is a goal. That's an outcome you want. The outcome is about being in flow. Now, that's okay. We're not here to talk about what the goals are, but you have an outcome, something that you're focusing on that you would like to experience now and in the future. So you've got to have clarity with that. Most people don't live the life they want to live because they don't have clarity with what it is that they want. When you have that clarity, then define what type of person, ask yourself what type of person actually has that. And your job is to become that person. And so tip number one to help you become that person, the thing that I want you to focus on, the first, and these aren't necessarily in any specific order. I'm just sharing with you how they come up, right? I've written them down and taking some notes. Tip number one is change your glass. Now, some of you know me, know what I'm drinking, right? Here's the 2022. Now, change your glass. Now, this glass, we know it can be half empty or it can be half full. It's just the way you see it. It's your perspective. It's your perception. The world, we don't see the world for what it is. We see the world for who we are. You see the world through the shade of the glasses that you're wearing. So today can be 23 degrees and partly cloudy. Oh shit, it's going to rain. You're going to have a crappy day. You're going to be sick. Maybe call in sick with your boss. Or it could be 23 degrees and mostly sunny. Now, let me ask you, partly cloudy, mostly sunny, is that not, not the same thing? Of course it is. But when you hear partly cloudy, it brings up negative internal representations. You think, oh, it's going to be a shit day. And so it's self-fulfilling prophecy. You're going to have that shit day. But if you think, if you think, sink, if you think that, well, partly cloudy is mostly sunny, well, mostly sunny brings up more positive internal representations. So I'm going to challenge you. Step number one is change your glass, change your thinking, change your perspective. No matter what has been happening in your life, and man, a lot's been happening for a lot of people. We've all been going through our own shit, our own stuff, right? With this situation in the world in the last 18, 24 months, and the personal situations that people have been going through. We all have our story. And no one's story is more important than anyone else's, but we all have a story which is important to us. Being within each experience, we're experiencing right now, there's a silver lining. There is a lesson. The glass is half empty. If we're looking at the experience as half full, what's taken away from us, what's missing from us, what's missing in our life, what I can't do because of that, not only are we pointing the finger, we're being at effect, we're viewing life through those shades in our glasses. So step number one, guys, and I know for me, I catch myself at a half full scenario I catch myself in terms of what I've lost, what I've missed, and I challenge myself. And I've got great friends like Mr. Brian O'Hee that's uh, uh, turned up tonight from Florida. And man, we call each other on shit. We call each other. And you need people like that to help you uncover your blind spots, to help you bring to your awareness the things that maybe you don't see. Because here, I'm here to tell you, you don't see with your eyes, guys. And you don't hear with your ears. You see and you hear with your brain. Now, you may have heard this stuff before, well, I'm here to challenge you that you haven't. Because right now, who you are today is a person that you've never been before. You're completely different than the person that you were yesterday and the day before. So even if you heard this data before, you're interpreting it differently because you have a whole set of different references. You're different. So have an open mind. Keep the glass half full. Because now, if you might have been experiencing the same experience before, hearing the same data, you're not the same person, so you can take something else out of this experience. If you've got that glass that way, then you're open to all the possibilities, you become a possibilitarian. Anything is possible, Tony Robbins says, and it's true. Anything is possible 100% of the time. Jim Fortin says that. And it's a transformation code. But you've got to believe it in your heart. You've got to be congruent with it. 
So that's step number one. I'm getting close to 10 minutes. I want to wrap up quick, quickly with the second step. Step number one is change your glass. Make sure it's half full. Make sure you're focusing on gratitude. You're focusing on empowerment. You're focusing on optimism. You're focusing on proactivity as opposed to reactivity. Become a possibilitarian. Touch the rim of the future with the possibilities that may happen today as opposed to being caught up in the crater of the past. Step number two, and this is a big one. And this is a lesson I had to learn, I suppose, the hard way, my way, the growth way, right? You've got to go through the, the shadow. You've got to go through stuff in order for you to grow. Well, you can either have the easy way or growth. Choose comfort or growth. And if you're not growing, you're dying. So if you're comfortable, it says you're dying. They're all linguistic presuppositions, they're language patterns I'm sharing with you. It's stuff that you can learn to understand how people talk to you and how they put you in a mass hypnosis. I'm being transparent here. I'm sharing my heart. I'm sharing stuff that I'm passionate about. Actually, well, not so much passionate. I'm taking my different view on passion. I've been reading this book, Ego is the Enemy. And I'm going to ask you, passion or purpose? What's more important? Passion gets caught up with ego. It's interesting. Purpose is actually more fulfilling. So I've got a purpose here to make a difference on this planet. I've got a purpose to share my message. I've got a purpose to actually help you rise up and become the person you were destined to be. And tip number two, big one, avoid all or nothing thinking. Get that out of your mind. So many of us have all or nothing thinking. It's either black or white. And this is me. It's either this way or that way. There's nothing in between. Well, you know what? There's so much in between. There's so many shades in between. There's 50 shades of grey in between. Maybe even more. How exciting is that? But you know what? If we say it's either this way or that way, we miss all the possibilities of what may happen on the journey. Now, are we not, not on the journey right now? Because any, every, everyone that's here, we've started somewhere. And we're no longer there. We're past where we were just now. We're actually moving forward somewhere. And we're not there yet. We're going somewhere. So right now, guess what? We're not there or here. We're in between. But if we do all or nothing thinking, it's got to be that way or this way. Like, and you know, you know people doing all or nothing thinking, thinking with their language. It's like use universals, right? No one loves me. Everyone hates me. I'm never good at that. It's like, yeah, it's one or the other. Well, never? Everyone? Ask better questions. Get, ask better questions of yourself. You're going to get better results, guys. Avoid all or nothing thinking. Challenge yourself. If you catch yourself saying those words, no one, everyone, all the time. How do you know that to be true? What if it wasn't true? Has there ever been a time in your life where you experienced something different? When you ask those questions, you start to get different answers. When you get, start to get different answers, you start to have a different experience of life. We're here to experience life to the fullest, to experience our spirit, to experience our heart, to experience everything that's possible for us in this human body as a spirit. So guys, I want you to think about that as we start our journey together over the next 30 days or so, 33 ways to crush the things that stop you from experiencing happiness and success. Tip one, change your glass. And tip two, avoid all or nothing thinking. Now I'm going to put this little post up here with this video. You can, so you can just, let's create some sort of chats. Let's create some sort of interaction. Post your comments, post your thoughts on those two tips and create some sort of interaction. And I'll be back again tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow during the day. We don't know where I'm going to be. Possible here in Cronulla with tip three, maybe tip four. We'll see how we go. Guys, thank you so much. Look forward to serving you. And of course, if you want more of this stuff, just hop over to our Facebook group, Evolve from the Inside Out. That's where we do a lot of work with our students, our clients. It's a community of like-minded people, you know, heart-centered people, forward-thinking people, same virtues, same values, and with a lot of challenges in there, a lot of different type of communications. Come and join us there. My team and I are there to serve you. But tonight, I'm here for you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Getting back into my studio. Now, of course, people that know do stuff with us, when we finish off, we want to finish off with a bit of dancing, right? So let's put some music on. Okay, guys, we'll catch you tomorrow. Signing off. After that,